I've just arrived here at the Peace Memorial Park. Only about 250 metres behind me is where the atomic bomb landed in 1945. There's a reason we're here. If we are going to talk about the potential for nuclear technology to be used in Australia, we've got to recognise that it has positive aspects, which is what nuclear energy is all about, but it's also got the negative aspects. It's got the capacity to be destructive. I don't think there's any country in the world that has a more complicated relationship with nuclear technology than Japan. They've seen the best of it, but boy, have they seen the worst of it. That's why we're here today, to speak to the locals, to be shown around, and to see if we can try to answer some of the basic questions for ourselves about why this country continues to use nuclear technology despite the tragedy of its own past. So let me ask you a question. Okay. Because of the tragedy that we've discussed today with the A-bomb, hmm. I think about Japan's relationship hmm. with nuclear technology hmm. and I wonder yeah. why Japan still today uses nuclear energy and what is the relationship? How do the Japanese people feel about nuclear energy in light of such tragedy in the past with a nuclear bomb? Uh, is that the main reason for a keep industry uh, growing, we need cheap energy. Yes, cheap and, energy. and nuclear provides that cheap energy, does it? That, uh, that is most, most important. Cheap energy. Understood. Understood. Thank you for showing me around today. It has been a very humbling, humbling experience. My pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. I love Australia. And Australia loves you back. Thanks very much. Authorised by Ted O'Brien MP, LMP, Marichidor, Queensland.